Stranger, thank you for coming in on such short notice. The world is a dark place. Who will protect the world from darkness? We will. I suppose I should tell you you will have a partner on this mission. A partner? Who? Svetlana Lupescu. I know you really don't like us. I don't like anyone. I hate monsters. I wouldn't call her a monster. She's only half vampire. Half is too much. But it's that half of her that makes her so ideal for this assignment. You put aside your personal feelings in the past, stranger. I trust you'll do the same now. If she crosses me, she dies. I'm sure she feels the same about you. Nice to see you again, stranger. I look forward to working with you. Have either of you ever heard of the Yathfo Gule Stone? The Yathgi? When you've heard of it, I suspected you might. Only through legend. It's the Holy Grail of the Vampire world. The Vampire who wields it is said to be immune to those things that would kill any other Vampire. He can walk anywhere, even in sunlight, and strike down man or beast with a thought. Yes, those are the legends. Some even suggest that the stone is the petrified heart of an ancient vampire. But, legends aside, we think we've tracked down the artifact. I always thought that it was just as much a myth as the Holy Grail. What makes you think the Grail is a myth? Yes, well, we think we might have found the Athel stone. Our intelligence suggests that a castle in Germany by the name of Gaustadt was the last known location of the artifact. Rumors, of course, but reports of strange creatures and supernatural events have been becoming suspiciously more frequent over the past century. But whether the stone is there or not, something is drawing the supernatural to that mountain. This is beginning to sound like a research assignment. It's far more important than that. Your mission is to retrieve the artifact. We've surveyed the regions as best we can. Reports that have trickled out over the past hundred years indicate that the journey itself to the castle will be treacherous. Why is it so important to retrieve this stone? No one here can utilize its full potential. I suspect that not even I would benefit from its powers, since my half-human blood gives me many of the benefits this stone is rumored to bestow. As you know, our trophy hall is filled with weapons and artifacts of great power that would allow an individual to rule the world should he wield them properly. 
By keeping them here under lock and key, we can ensure that they never fall into the wrong hands. Why not simply destroy them? Some cannot be destroyed. We've tried. Others may prove useful to us in the future. In the event of another great war, we have weapons that would guarantee our victory against any odds. Returning to business, we've done some preliminary reconnaissance. Our operatives couldn't penetrate very deeply into the foothills. The entire area is crawling with werewolves. I thought you killed all the werewolves in Germany. Hmm. We tried to find relatives or friends of anyone from the Gaustadt region. We couldn't find one person with any connection to the area. We do know that small villages in the area were inhabited as late as the 1850s, but since then, no one has had any first-hand contact with anyone there. All the information you need is on your desks, and your travel arrangements have been made. Good luck, and be careful. Meet me at the elevator when you're ready to leave, stranger. I don't have to look up to know the stranger has just entered this room. The power of your thoughts precedes you, stranger. Cut the crap, Hiram. I've known you long enough to know you can't read minds. Technically, that is true. But you know I can sense intense feelings. And you, my dear fellow, have the most intense aura I've ever encountered. It's obvious you have a new mission that you're not looking forward to. Though I can't imagine what objection you could have against any mission. The colonel assigned Svetlana as my partner. Oh. And stranger? I'm not used to seeing you here. I thought you did all of your training in the field. I do. <laughs> so you just thought you'd drop by for a visit, huh? Yes. Well, Ken showed me a couple of new mental techniques to use in battle. His teachings have greatly helped me expand my fighting style and my spiritual prowess, as he calls it. <laughs> I hear you have a mission assignment. You and Svetlana are to find the yacht for Gaiol. You hear a lot. It's a damn treasure hunt. Ah, but the forests are supposedly overrun with werewolves once again. I would gladly join you if the Colonel did not fear human interaction on this mission. Stranger, come and fight. I'll step out and you can take on Marla. He's got to be the toughest bastard in the world. Even when he's holding back, I can barely last five minutes. I'd hate to fight against him when he isn't pulling his punches. Yes, stranger. Let us spar. I don't think you'd like the outcome. <laughs> All right. Let us know if you change your mind. Greetings, stranger. What brings you to this room? Your fighting skills with weapons are unsurpassed. Have you come for me to teach you hand-to-hand -hand techniques? I already know all the hand-to-hand -hand techniques I need. I prefer weapons. Surely you did not come here for spiritual guidance. No. I'm just checking the team's status. Ah, very well. Moloch is an incredible chaining tool. His experience, strength, and skill make him the most worthy of opponents. He keeps Haystack on his toes. Haystack cannot just blindly punch. He must focus all concentration, all of his energy, spiritual and physical, when fighting Moloch. 
he must strategize at an intense rate. Moloch is stronger and faster than any other opponent Haystack has fought before. Years of training with Moloch, and Haystack has yet to land a punch. That is his ultimate goal. I think Moloch does this out of boredom, while he waits for his next assignment. However, his will is unsurpassed, and his patience immeasurable when it needs to be. I am interested to see what happens when Haystack finally connects with one of his punches. Moloch thinks it impossible. I, however, see the potential of the ex-boxer and know it will one day happen. Haystack already has amazing fighting technique and some knowledge of magic. Most important, he has the drive. Even after all these sessions without a single hit on Moloch, Haystack awaits the next session with enthusiasm. He never gets discouraged. That is why it will one day happen. I wonder if Moloch will show surprise on that first hit. I wonder if his demon heart is capable of such an emotion. You have the eyes of a hawk. You must keep them on Moloch. He's not only powerful, he is immortal. That makes him a valuable ally. After Moloch's actions during the Nepalese horrorcide of 1921, the colonel placed his full trust in him. But I know things about his past that no human would dare contemplate. He is ancient, and his inner makings are motivated by defiance. The blood of children and the tears of their mothers stain his face and hands from ages past. Look at him hold back when he spars with Haystack. And as vicious as he is, he is still holding back when he is in the field. Moloch is anger and wrath incarnate, hurling his hatred at God and Satan alike. Yes, he's a powerful ally. But remember, that same power would make him a formidable enemy if we were not prepared. We must never forget that he is a demon seeking vengeance. Vengeance? For what? His very existence. Your interest in our activities is always welcome, stranger. But now it is time for me to return my attention to Haystack and Moloch. Stranger, please, don't play with my tools. Stranger, can you come back later? As you can see, I'm extremely busy. I have to leave on a mission soon. I see. And you want to know if I have any goodies for you? <laughs> What's the mission? Werewolves and vampires. Vampires? Svetlana just returned from her last mission. I don't suppose she's going on this mission with you, is she? Yes. Interesting. Well, I've got the standard Aqua Vampira that Hamilton Killian helped develop. Better than holy water, he always said. And I have a new item that I just finished. I haven't had time to field test it yet. Basically, it produces artificial sunlight. 
It takes a while to charge up, but when it does, it ought to fry any vampires and at the very least temporarily blind anything else. You better not accidentally shoot a team member with it, especially Svetlana. Hmm, I wonder if this machine will even have an effect on a Dampier. Either way, it might not be a good idea to use this if you and Svetlana are going to be in close proximity during the mission. I'll take my chances. What do you call it? It's the Charged Radiance Emitter, or more colorfully, the Son of God. Nice. Anything else? Werewolves, huh? Where did you say you're going? Germany. I thought you killed all the... What else the... do you have? Sorry, stranger, just the standard silver bullets. I've been very busy. You're lucky I was able to finish the sun before your mission.